Was it a difficult decision to, to not let him go back out there on the, in the floor? Uh, you know, once once the third became a really a really tough one for him too, um, I just felt like we, we had to get him out of there at that point with, with the pitches racking up like they were through three innings and felt like, you know, we were still in a spot to where we could kind of piece it together with, you know, inning, inning, inning with, it, with everyone through our high leverage guys. But, um, you know, we just struggled, obviously, in that fourth inning. Holder, who's who's usually doesn't walk guys, loses the leadoff guy, and then it just got away from us there. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we just couldn't stop the bleeding there in that fourth inning. Things really unraveled quickly for Holder. I believe he faced seven batters, gave up six runs prior to you going out and get him. Did you consider getting him sooner? Uh, maybe a batter prior. Um, we're kicking around, but then, you know, then you start facing a, a more up against the situation, you know, it, it really didn't really want to use Sessa tonight, but obviously that became a need. So um, maybe a batter before we were starting to consider it, but, but we, we had to give Greeny time to get ready as well. So, um, you know, just a real difficult inning. Uh, that's well. We're starting to have those conversations now, and in, in earnest. And uh, you know, uh, we'll start um, considering all our options. But um, you know, obviously now it won't be won't be Cessa pitching Saturday. So we'll just have to see uh, how it all lines up. And those are the conversations we'll have right now. Is there anybody, anybody on the staff that you can start on, on our staff right now? Uh, no, I don't think I don't think that's an option right now. What's the proper play on the comeback or <coughs> to Holder? Yeah. It's a good job by Holder there actually of of getting that seeing freeze he, he recognized the runner and then just got it to Miggy and Miggy was a little delayed in getting rid of the ball to home plate. He's got to get it out of his hands at that point. And then you either start the rundown or you have a play. So I think a little maybe a little indecision there on Miggy's part, but um, you know, I thought actually Holder was a good job of fielding it and and holding the runner. Do you need to throw in front of the runner, though, in that situation, or are you okay with it? To, to home? <laughs> you, he, I mean, he definitely could have, but I, I felt like when he turned and looked at him and froze him enough, he was still at, on towards the third base side, so I had no problem with him going to third right there. Now, you can, you can grab it, run at him, and really freeze him, which would have been the perfect play, um, but... You know, we just didn't execute, and unfortunately, we didn't a couple times tonight. Do you feel like that play in particular kind of stuck with him that he wasn't able to settle in there? After? Did that affect him at all on the mound, or was he just not having his stuff? I, I don't think it did, and I, and I think, I think, you know what, Jonathan? That's one of the traits he's had. He's pretty good at just competing and, and pitching and usually commanding the strike zone, and I don't think that uh, factored in. I just think he wasn't executing tonight. Are any kind of uh, throws there on the Benintendi stolen base as well? Did you, could you see any relation between the two plays there, or was it just... No, that's just where when he comes set, he's one of those guys that's blind to what he's seeing, so he's listening, loud building, just that much too late reacting, you know, the good thing is he didn't panic. You know, a lot of times you get people yelling at you and it's a box situation. He stepped off, but it was just too late. So that, you know, you've got to, when, when you're not a pitcher that has the runner in your sights at all time, you've got to, you've got to be checking for, for that kind of scenario. It was a good job of varying his hold and, you know, because they are aggressive and looking to obviously uh, take the base, especially when they get a lead. But you get, we got to do a better job of, of being aware when something like that happens. When, when you have when you have two plays like that, and CC ballooning, up, you know, the ball, and then yesterday Glaber mm -hmm. keep being late to kind of, I mean, are those? I don't know. How does that? You know, as a manager, how do you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's frustrating. You know, it's it's frustrating. You know, we got we got we have to do a better job, uh, play a cleaner brand of baseball, especially when when things are hard. Um, and you're up against a real good opponent. You, you know, we, we've got to we've got to play clean. Um, that said, also those kind of things happen. I mean, the ball to CC is a bullet that he goes up and picks, kind of a wet ball. That's kind of a, you know, that's that's going to happen. That's baseball. That's a one of those plays. So, um, 
but yeah, I mean, right now when it's difficult and you know not everything's going our way, we got to you know be airtight in the in the things we do to kind of minimize. Uh, minimize damage on the other side. Based on the way things have unraveled the last two days, do you feel like you need to talk to this team? I talk to this team all the time, so that nothing will change there. Um, we'll, uh, we'll continue to compete like we did yesterday. Uh, when we didn't do a couple things well, we fought our way back. We, they, the guys competed all, all the way tonight, so I have zero issue with the mindset of our guys and knowing that we'll be focused and ready to go. And, and the communication uh, with, uh, with our guys is happening all the time. Aaron, on the uh, ball that Torres hit, that Kinsler had the great play. Yeah. It looked like he got out of the box slow. Did you see that one? I did not. Sorry, I, haven't, I haven't seen that. Aaron, uh, considering the state of your pitching in general, you took Gray out of your rotation, half to the DL, short starts. Are you concerned about this thing unraveling this weekend against as good an offensive team as this is, especially in their park? Um, no, we got Seve going tomorrow. Can't wait to hand him the ball and look to get him rolling. Um, you know, we're we're rested for the most part at the back end. We just need to go out and have a have an outing where we get deep into the game and and all of a sudden change the narrative. You know. This is it's a long, arduous season. You know, you're going to hit these little bumps in the road where it's difficult, where, you know, uh, you know, you have, you have, where you're trying to preserve pitching a little bit, where you're up against it a little bit, and a lot of days in a row. But you know, we give the ball to one of the best in the game tomorrow, and Seve, he goes out and does his thing. We're right back, reset, and, and good to go. Do you 